well, good evening. I hope you're doing well. As you can see, we aren't playing in Shroud tonight. We're trying out Dragon's Dogma 2. And I've already started a character because, of course, I did. I've already died once, too. I was like, man, I suck at this. And then I watched a little Cabrutus play, and he died in the exact same spot I did, so I was like, I don't feel so bad anymore. <laughs> so let's get started. Look around Mel. This is rather thrilling. Oh, hush. Talveral. So this is Medriel. I actually loosely based her off of my actual elf in Lotro. And that's her main pawn, Talveral. Kind of, I think I based him off of Medriel's skirmish soldier, but... I haven't skirmished in a while, so I don't remember what he looked like. Now we need to look around here. Okay. Pitiable Arisen. So apparently she's lost her memory. She doesn't remember what happened. She started off in some prison work camp. They got attacked by something. How that has that forgotten thy destiny? That is most unfortunate. But it doth not release thee from thy fate. Oh, and what is my fate? <sighs> okay. Okay. Not sure if I'm ready for this. I did see Cabrera do this. Oh, he's mad. Why is she using a sword and shield? That is not her weapon set. Looks painful. <gasps> okay. I, I I knew that was gonna happen, but it's still So he's gonna eat my heart like a, a, a my beating heart like a tic tac. Right. 
Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. All right. Now what? Goodness, how are you feeling? Hi, Paint Minis. How are you? How am I? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? The second time, you say? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. But you hung on and by some miracle survived. I uh, seem to have become arisen. Arisen? I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have ought to do with why you were taken to the castle? Maybe? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Oh uh, no. I'm afraid not. I am of the border watch. Someone with arisen like ability came to this village torn in two. No you ought to be. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Busy day, doing well, looking May forward to seeing the story play someday. out. Well then. How oh take care. How am I? I'm doing pretty good. Arisen. So she knows I think she knows more than she's letting on. I don't know if that means ah, she's a pawn. Excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. Okay. The ruler of Vermont currently convalescing in the capital became arisen here in this very village oh did he if you claim the same then word must be borne to the capital i dispatched a missive before coming here though i doubt the matter can be settled without your presence mm, maybe would you be willing to accompany me to the capital if you truly are arisen you will be received with open arms oh but forgive me i scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to Very think well. of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. I don't know who Sir Leonard is. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. But yeah, I, I'm doing pretty well. I mean, I got this as a gift. Who might have the answers we need, shall we ask around? Oh, so we. Well met. You're oh, the one hello. Who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? I think so. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now tell me, are you registered with a guild? Uh, a what? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training. Which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Oh, okay. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Oh, well, thank you for that information. Go on, it will only take a moment. Well, thank you. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Really? Well, I think I need to ask about mages. It is a vacation for those who seek to master the mystical arts. Magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells and aid their allies with magical support. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must spend in counting it. Thus, a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without allies to protect them. 
Oh, I have a few. Let's see, what are the other vocations? Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Okay. Um, I guess I should learn about fighters and archers. Fighters first, because my main pawn is a fighter. It is a vocation for those who seek to master the sword and shield. Fighters favor a balanced approach, excelling in both offense and defense, and can adapt to any situation. I am a fighter myself, and should there come a time when you impress me with your prowess, I might be willing to impart unto you some of what I know. Well, you might want to talk to my, my pawn then. And archers? Naturally, it is a vocation for those who seek to master the bow, an exceptionally useful long-ranged weapon. What's the backstory of this game? I think I missed the intro. Um, that's because I did the intro off-screen. But give me a second. Close range, however, a bow is nearly more useful than a walking stick. Aye, the secret to being a successful archer is maintaining distance between you and your foes. Okay. Thank you. I'm Very done. well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. The Maester's Teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired in each vocation. Learning a Maester's Teaching requires the use of a special tome, which you will receive if you impress the vocation Maester with your abilities. However, the true potential of this skill can only be realized by those whose vocation rank is high enough. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before this came Ah, and she leveled up again. Alright, so... Oh, Tavor allowed it, leveled up again. Very good. So, real quick. Of course, that's my main pawn over there. That's top. Oh, wait, no. Where is he? Where is he? Is he still outside? He must be. But here, I hired her. And she is a cat. Cat person. <laughs> I almost called her a Khajiit. Her name's Coco, and she's actually very useful. She's been leading me to quest locations, which is handy, since I don't know where I'm going. So, backstory, from what I can tell, is you are playing as the Arisen, which, as we saw from the cutscene, is somebody who whose heart has been stolen by the dragon. I'm assuming you're eventually going to have to fight the dragon to reclaim your heart. But in the meantime, it's your duty to protect the land and the people living there. The pawns are human-like, but not human. They come from different alternate lands. And their whole duty is to... Follow your commands. Sounds like you can only have three of them with you at a time, which is why I have a fighter and a ranger. As for any understories, it seems like the major understory is that there is somebody sitting on the throne who claims to be Arisen. Whether he is another Arisen or he's been faking it, I don't know yet. But that's all I know at the moment. Hello. Hey all. Here at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. Oh, you do? Okay. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Do I need something? Let's look at the vocation guide. Um, I'm not really changing vocation, but here I could if I chose to change. All manner of vocational procedures can be carried out in the guild hall of a vocation guild. If you have unlocked a vocation, you can change it at any time. Unlocking the new vocation requires discipline, which is accrued when 
defeating enemies and completing quests. Interesting. Sounds like these arisen or rare then. I'm thinking the arisen or extremely rare. I don't I don't like I don't really like a you're the one true hero tropes, but I did like the looks of this game and besides, I got it as a gift, so I'm not exactly turning it down. Especially since I really wanted to play it. Each vocation trains different skills, and you will be able to learn new skills as you rank within your vocation rises. Learning skills requires discipline. Core skills can be employed from the moment they are acquired, but weapon skills must be equipped before they can be used. Augments. These are special abilities that can be equipped regardless of your current vocation. Augments are acquired by spending discipline and are active from the moment they are equipped. You can equip up to six augments at once. A broader range of augments will become available to you as your vocation rank increases. So we have Mage, and it looks like her augments include atrop atr Atropacin. That is a mouthful, and I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that even close to correct. Butitude, Intervention, Perpetuation, and Exaltation. And I guess I'll learn what they mean. I'm not changing, but if I wanted to change, I could choose Fighter. I could choose Archer. Or I could choose Thief. And I have Flagoration already. It says, unleashes a swirling jet of flame straight ahead for a period of time. The flame ignores defense and can pass through multiple targets. While active, the caster can still move. Press the assigned button to begin incanting and press it again when the incantation is complete to cast. While casting, use the mouse to change direction. So, flagoration, it looks like, is on my left mouse button. Looks like I could choose a couple of others. I could use Leaven, Palladium, or Fire Boon. But I don't have a lot of these stones, so I'm going to skip getting anything new right now. And then my core skill is a focused bolt. Fires a condensed magical burst that differs based on active enchantment. Now, here's Talvril, and like I said, he's the main pawn, which he is a fighter, because if I'm going to be a maid, I need something to defend me. And of course, usual swords, maces, and shields. His augments include metal, provocation, thu, dominion, and diligence. Those all sound good to me. Weapon skills... He has Blink Strike, rushes forcefully towards the target and visits a powerful blow upon them. He could have Airward Slash, performs a jump while slashing diagonally upward, an effective means of assailing flying targets. I am... Oh, he doesn't have enough yet, but I'm definitely getting that for him as soon as possible because there are Harpies in the game. And Shield Bash, which, well, I'm used to that one having played a Guardian and Lotro, delivers a powerful blow with the shield that can knock targets off balance. All right. Oh, well, thank you for letting me look at these things. It is good to be busy. Work begets opportunity. Okay. Well, let's see. Let me look at storage. So, what things do I have that I can deposit? I'm wearing that. I'm wearing that. Let me deposit. How many? How about all of them? These? Thank you. Okay. Deposit that. I'm using that. I'm using that. And uh, okay. I think that's it. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you, good sir. It was nice speaking Always to you. Always a pleasure. And I keep forgetting I have to hit F again. Game looks really good. And we'll discuss some of the down issues with the game later, but the game looks good. <laughs> I'm assuming either that's where the innkeeper sleeps or this is the bedroom of the tavern. Tav Tavril! Found a material. A different so, combinations of materials result in different creations. Thank you, Talvril. So, you actually have to listen to what the pawns say because they will actually give you helpful information, including helpful crafting information, how to fight certain monsters, etc., etc. But I really would prefer that they not rifle through chests in places where people have been friendly to me so and this steal. Is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watch is waiting for you. Um, okay. Let us speak with everyone we can think of who might know all of use. All right. Sir Gregor wishes to speak with you, Master. Shall we go to him? Um, yes, Certainly, we Master. should. I can take you to this individual. Okay. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Uh, <laughs> Tell rolls like if you insist. I'm glad I don't have to lead the way. Here we are. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. I don't know if I have answers. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Um, I need some time. Very well. Speak with me once you've finished your preparations. Oh, no problem. All right. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. She's so cute. Um, talk. Matters of import. Sir Gregor wishes to speak with you, Master. Shall we go to him? We've already done that, dear. Now, where did I come from? I'm here. I came from here. And I don't know if I have anything to turn in there. I did do a quest. I don't know if quest auto-complete or not. I like your stream overlay. The way the comment history is presented is a nice touch. Well, thank you. I actually worked to uh, give it a bit of a professional look. I wanted the chat up there, but I didn't want it to be overly in the way or anything. I'm still trying to figure that out, exactly how I want to do it. But I knew I wanted it there. Oh, and if you've noticed, the, the text-to-speech is not reading the comments. I don't know if that's because I have to update that particular uh, add-on. Because it does say it needs updating. But at least it still lets me know when I have a message so I can look over and read it at the very least. Don't think I guess I don't need to go back. I hope not. All right. Make haste then. We must leave anon. Fine. We will leave. Good. Then let us be on our way. All right. Let us be on our way. I guess we're following that you. Reminds me. We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. We've no need of a thief if we are content to overwhelm our foes with sheer force. Uh, so the the archer would like a thief in the group. Oh, 
might as well go grab the beast again. Any, any others? Huh, I just leveled up. Oh no, Talvoral leveled up again. And hold on. I think it's V. That was well thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt. This triumph will spur us into the next. I have to remember that V is my healing skill. Alright, come on guys. Are we going? So y'all gonna be slow? I'm following you. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. I'd say we collect as much as we can carry. Alright, y'all do that. Oh look, more goblins. Look at them. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Christmas gets the worm, as they say. Okay, any others? Vocation rank up. You truly are formidable, Arisen. Oh, what do we have here? Time we pressed on A goblin horn. Faster. Anything in here? Fruit Roborant. I have no idea what that is. Huh. I'm not sure I want... I, I, I trust an apple that I got off some goblin. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's very useful. She's finding things that, uh... I hadn't even thought to look for. Leave the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. I shall sniff them out and mark them on your map. Alright, who are you? You are straightforward. Your specialization is foraging. Okay. You must be a thief. Okay. That's why my 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 little cat friend was asking about the sure. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. Okay. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial for they allow the pawn to act independently, as this can result in unexpected consequences. However, with a little patience, planning, and due care. Specializations can prove very useful and are well worth trying out. If you'd like your pawn to learn a specialization, you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire a specialization. A pawn can only acquire one specialization at a time, and learning a new specialization will replace the old one. Consult each specialization's entry for more information about its effects. Pawn quest or task given to you, your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. When setting a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select a specific item or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory. Gold will be subtracted from your funds. It's also possible to trade with other Arisen by setting the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest objective. And I think that requires an online component, but I have that turned off because I was not interested in it. And sorry about that. I did not mean to run into you. But shall we... Continue on. And apparently, if you pick up quests, sometimes they are timed. 
and you can actually get to a location to do a quest and it'll be too late and you'll fill it. And because to claim the title is to claim the throne, yet not all claim the truth. Our kingdom sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. Okay. So apparently the Arisen becomes king. Oh, he came right at me. That that RP came right at me. Okay. Any any rate. Say you do make a mistake and something dies as a result. We might uh, scratch another task off our list while we're here. If we are so inclined. When the mind is fit to the heart. Let's just say the game auto saves on the on any major events. And well, there's no going back on it. There is no save scrumming because there is no extra saves. There's one save. And that is part of the reason that the game has gotten some various negative reviews. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Another reason, and a big one for me, is that you can't start a new game. Or you can, but you have to jump through a lot of hoops as there is not a new game An button. Blocks our way. Perhaps we might remove it by force. I'm poised to strike. Just say the word. I expect you'll be wanting my assistance. Look there. I espy another statue. Why don't we go take a look? What are we espying? What are we looking at? And why are we looking at it? I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Okay. Yeah, but I, I already have... Um... I already have enough... Thank you. You can only have three pawns at a time. And I am at my max. So, pawns will, like, literally come to you and offer their services. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Okay. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An Arisen, by all appearances. An Arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one Arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the captain. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? Okay, so... <laughs> they don't believe that she's arisen. All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Maybe the constant attacks by creatures directed at her. My pack, master. I'd gladly see you put where I fight a good use. The fact that the pawns follow her command and gladly throw themselves at her feet doesn't convince them either. Uh. 
An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. I do like the conversation. It's definitely very medieval style. Fah, those recruits don't know pommel from point. <laughs> what do we have in here? Oh, just a tent. Okay. Suppose I best earn my keep. I don't know which way we're going. I'm following you, but you seem to be waiting for me. To the chest. I shall take a look inside. Oh, uh, hey. She just found his five eight hundred and fifty gold. <laughs> Hi. You can look for any chest you want. Who was that that found that? Oh, Coco. Hi. Thank you, Coco. The world is very beautiful. In a way, it reminds me a little bit of... Modest camping kit. Ooh, I found a camping kit here. I'm not complaining. Um, there's a now chest a over there. So far away. And I can't cross the water. Well, I can cross the water. But, another thing, ponds do not like to get wet. They will follow you, but then they will complain mightily that they got wet. Oh. Debilitations or negative statuses with effects that range from inflicting damage at steady intervals to making the target vulnerable to a specific type of attack. They are not exclusive to the Arisen and their pawns, but can be inflicted upon their enemies as well, granting a fierce edge in battle if applied wisely. Consult each debilitation's entry for more information. So, apparently, being drenched is a debilitation. I don't know why. But if we want that chest, I guess we're getting wet. Tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine lurk in deep waters. Rivers, lakes, and the sea will instantly consume anyone or thing that wades into their midst. If this fate befalls the arisen, they will be revived momentarily, but they are the exception. Pawns will become forfeit, and all other living creatures are met with immediate watery death. Oh, hi. Back. Okay. Ouch. So... We're not going to go in the water. That is why the pawns do not like water. That makes sense. Now that makes sense why the pawns don't like water. All right. Lesson learned. We, we don't just go casually wading into the waters. We'll have to figure out how to get there another way. I guess that was a handy thing to learn. Even if I did learn it the hard way. I'm glad it wasn't one of my pawns that learned it the hard way, though. Because apparently, they are not revived from the brine. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Let's My pack's see. not what that heavy. <laughs> My pack's not that heavy, but thank you. Whoa, hi. What the hey? What was that? Everyone all right? I think so. More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. 
so do we keep going that way or do we go back? I mean, I guess we keep going. You know, now I'm curious to find out what this brine is. <laughs> Talk about explosive development, yeah? That definitely startled me. Uh, I'm sure it startled all the goblins that died too. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Talveral. Is this place bereft of beasts and brigands both? I cannot help. We've got goblins! One cannot be too careful. I've leveled up again. Pretty good. Oh. I picked up a nicely bit of gold there. Oh, we got here. Something to gather. There's no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaning treasures. Whoa, that goblin had 200 gold on him. These are some well paid goblins. Good grief. I'm sorry, but it, I, I'm pretty much guessing if you were running a D&D &D campaign and you found a goblin with 200 gold on him, you, you, you'd wonder who was paying him off. I'll take that. We oh, somebody got us some strawberries. Pretty good. Oh, I see goblins ahead. I guess we're fighting again. Tavoral has leveled up again. Very good. Where'd you go, Dave? Oh, you're hiding back here. Come to think of it. Some masters rearranged their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Now there's a thought. What is down here? I think we've... Oh, I guess we... That's where we came from, I think. Oh, sorry, guys. Did not mean to jump on your heads. All right, let's keep going. But she's well guarded, at the very least. Hello, Bella. I cannot help but think of the movie Dragonheart with the episode title. How are you liking the game so far? It does have a dark soul feel to it. <laughs> well, hello, Michael. The game so far is actually pretty fun. I'm liking it. And I kind of got a taste of it with the first Dragon Dogma. Because I was thinking of buying it. But then I got it as a present, so... I'm like, yep, definitely gonna play it now. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. Oh. Ah. Uh, bunch of goblins in this. Oh, there's more? Where's that little stinker coming from? 
Oh, there. All right. I think we got them all. Not compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Let's well, see what we got in here. 1100 gold. Good grief. <laughs> it's like every time I turn around. There's only really like Nope, nothing in those. Okay. <laughs> but I'm sure by now everybody's seen or heard the mixed reviews on the game. And I'll be honest, some of those mixed reviews are deserved. I want to talk about that in a little bit when we come to a place where I'm not worried that we're going to get attacked by goblins at any moment. Yeah, I kind of figured there was going to be something here. Goblins, oh, not just goblins. There's harpies, too. I saw them. That's thrilling. Right over there. I did not know I could feel so alive. Oh, she's smart. She knew to come to stand here and get healed. I did not think that the pawns would be that intelligent. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? You want to rest here? Um, maybe not. A ripened apple. Once again, I'm not sure I'm trusting food I'm getting off of harpies and goblins. Huh. Almost looks like we should be able to go up on it. Is your character a magic user? Yes, my character is a mage. Whoop. Come on. Up. Gathering of beasts. Oh, look at that. Look at the ruins over there. I wouldn't have even noticed that if I hadn't decided to do a little climbing. Gathering of beast. As in a whole oh, bunch of heartbeats. It might be of use. Look at them. See them down there? Huh. Can we get that from here? No. Nope. Yes, we can. We can't get the wolf piece fighting though. Oh, another one. Huh, and another level up. All right. <laughs> We've leveled up like three times already. It's ridiculously fast to start. All right, we go back down. There it is. Well, that was rather fun. Hello? You are very tall. 
also did not wish to speak with me for whatever reason. What is that? A golden trove beetle. Interesting. Oh. Stunned? Yeah, she was. So, harpies apparently have siren type skills. Maybe this would be a good place for camping? Current location, quest list. Oh, now we have a quest list. Of the sovereign or deals with a new recruit. Quest details. To a monster, new recruits are simply easy pickings. Okay, so we need to go back to that outpost eventually and turn that in. See of the sovereign, make your way into the capital, affirm your identity. Travel to the capital to confirm your identity. All right. Now. Ba, 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 ba. Weapon skills, vocation, action, heavy attack, light attack. In my case, my heavy attack is my healing skill. I was hoping. Oh, items. Right here. Modest camp kit. Can we use that right now? Does not look like it. Maybe we're not in the right place to use it. Probably have to pee someplace safer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it, um, is it control F? Nope. Shift F. Okay. What was it? Shift is dash. F is examine. I'm looking for something very specific. I can never remember how to equip my lantern. Oh, I need to light it. There we go. All right, which way are we going then? Okay, which way did we came from that way? Because I see the log. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Yes, Talbot, I am. <laughs> He's like you're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Time is an ever-flowing river in this world, and the activities and behaviors of its inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long, and they only appear in the morning, at night, or at midday. To pass the time, you can either stay at an inn or make use of one of the special seats found outdoors in set locations. Come nightfall, you will be able to see no further than the ground at your feet, and the onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not to be seen at, by day. Explore the wilderness after sunset at your own peril, and be sure to have a lantern in your pack. Some items that can be gathered will change over time, such as by ripening and growing more flavorful. There are also items, if allowed to age just long enough, will become more useful when combining materials. However, you should keep a close eye on raw items in particular, as consuming anything that has been aged past its prime is likely to have unpleasant side effects. Certain objects and structures that can be destroyed by your attacks will regenerate after a set amount of time has passed. Similarly, fruits, berries, and other gatherable flora will grow back after a time. We really do. Would that such tranquility could last? We really sad? would like to stop, but I don't know where we can stop at. So hopefully, we're nearby to something—a uh, 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 camp, 
a town, a city. I'll take that. In the meantime, though, at least everybody seems to have lights. This is generally used as a material. Is it? Okay. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Okay, thank you. That's the second pawn that's told me that, so it must be very useful. And that is probably not a place I want to visit at night. All right, is this good? No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I need a bone, but okay. I guess I have a bone to pick with those skeletons. I'll let myself out now. So, kind of like in Valheim, the mobs that you see at night might be a little different or a little stronger than the ones during the day. you have a large number of companions with you here. Well, these three here are my actual pawns, which you can only have three of them at any time. The rest of them are a group that is taking me to the city because, well, they don't believe that I'm an Arisen because there's apparently only one Arisen and that Arisen is supposedly on the throne. Yet at the same time, they're having a little trouble denying that the pawns are following my commands. Why is there a big log here? Huh. They all waited for me to go over it first. Come on, guys. And Talvaral, what is wrong with you? Why are you healing? We haven't even been in a fight for a bit. Did I not heal you properly? But yeah, that's the whole reason there are so many with me at the moment. Usually it would only be these three. And even that's quite a bit. I do have a soldier, a thief, an archer to go with my mage. So we have a pretty good party complement here. Huh. Nice looking barrel. What's this? We're trapped. We're trapped. Um the hello. Okay, that's... A cyclops! To think we'd encounter one here of all places. Cyclops! Pray, be on your guard. Well, 
Pawn forfeiture and rivalry. A resident can attempt to revive a pawn by approaching them and touching them. If multiple pawns lie mobile in the vicinity, the Arisen can revive them simultaneously. The maximum health of a revived pawn will be equal to the Arisen's remaining health. Oh no. Ouch! It's not gonna help if I die. I won't be reviving anybody. Alright, hold on. Come on, Dave. Come on. Did he just... Oh my goodness. Did he just... Re Healed himself. That stinker. Grabbing larger foes in battle. You can grab hold of a foe while standing by making contact with them while pressing E. Once you have an enemy, you can push or pull them to draw their focus or knock them off balance. Fall back! Fall back? I misjudged you. Okay. I've taken you for another false arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Wow, okay. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. Okay. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch. And I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. Tis your decision. The Oxcart, huh? Location rank up. Talvoral ranked up. Oh, maybe I would like to uh, do a little healy heal. Especially for Talvoral. So. Well, she died once, but we managed to revive her. A scrag of beast. Now, I don't think that's something I want to be eating. Everyone raised their hand who would eat Cyclops meat. Why are we go crossing water? Y'all are brave. Okay, we'll follow you. Okay. Oh, okay. Everybody's fine. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Sure, why not? Accompany them to the capital. Very well. Board the ops cart and we'll be off. Alright. Come on, guys. 
We're gonna get a ride to the capital because why not? Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Huh. They're gonna walk? I guess they are. Now, why are we using the R ox cart if everybody, almost everybody's gonna walk? That makes no sense. I can doze off. Really? What just happened? Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. Okay. Um. Get up. Thank you. Master, goblins. Yeah, I know. I heard. Shoot, Dave's gonna die again. Impeccable. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? Yes. All right. Into the ox. Before I get into the ox cart, though, Dave, come here. Thank you. guys I guess the pawns don't ride in the cart with her oh my god look at that ox that's one big beast. So, I guess we're gonna find out for a fact whether or not frame rate drops in the city really are a thing. Although I'm imagining there are a lot of people have complained about them. Okay, who are you? And, and, and why are you looking? Coming would be a rhythm. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed. He is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. Oh, well, I don't intend to. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. Okay. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. I don't understand. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, may I, if I ought to explain the situation before we proceed? You, and no other, are the sovereign. The only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced. 
for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet not all celebrated your coming. Okay, I guess we're going to get a bit of story here. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deeser of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. Hmm, she's not happy. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. So Daramoth says, hello, fellow Rumbler. Hope you're all having a great night and that the weekend is even better. Have fun tonight. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And I hope you've had a good week and have a great weekend. And wait, w wait, wait. <gasps> well, thank you. Thank you for the $5. I appreciate it. Oh my goodness, do you know that you are my first super chat on Rumble? Thank you. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. Well, now you've made my day. I really appreciate that. Visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. Okay. So. Oh, dear. Her her presence is not going to be a this welcome. Suspicion, and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? The queen is not going to be happy if she finds out I'm here. Look at the graphics in this game. They're so pretty. I mean, they're not like 100% like, oh my goodness, I'm in a real life simulation. But for a fantasy game, these are great. And it looks like I'm free to go. Oh, hello. Um, can I pass? Thank you. Pray forgive me. I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Get back here! Oh boy. <laughs> did somebody get himself in a spot of trouble? I think they did. You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? I... Um... Should I lie or tell the truth? I mean, I didn't really see which way he ran. Oh! I am up to 524 subs. Oh, very good. <laughs> Many thanks. I'll catch Thank that you for letting yet. me know, Michael. I actually hadn't checked in a couple of days, so yay. <laughs> That's great. You're a now I've had one, more new good news. It would seem You're... I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Okay. Ah, there you are. Uh-oh. Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. <laughs> he looks like a very young Frodo Baggins. <laughs> he did. He, he looked like a very young Frodo Baggins. All right. Person of import, I take it. Very well. I will lead the way. Guys, get out of the way. 
survival roll. Hail. Always a pleasure. All right, come on, guys, gather round. So you're the ruler hiding out here. Is that the story so far? Uh, Michael, it does seem to be the case. Oh, you want me to go this way? Why are we going back this way? I don't know. I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beastrons. Past the night, sir. Quite, though no definitive records remain. All right, Dave wants me to go this way for some reason, so I guess we're following her. And no, I did not name her Dave. She came named that way. <laughs> I don't think the game knows, differentiates between names. Okay, yes, I'm following you, Dave. Follow me, Arisen. Okay, I'm following you. Where are we going? Okay. Well, I'm the one that ran out of stamina, though. Is there no getting through this door? I don't know where she's taking me, but hey. Oh, Coco must uh, help speed up stamina re re revival. Forgotten Rift Stones. View tutorial logbook. Oh, is this what you're doing? You're taking me to another Rift Stone. Oh! guys. Especially you, Dave. You keep uh, just about getting yourself killed. That was outstanding, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Right through more goblins? Dave, are you trying to get everyone killed? The ox helped us. <laughs> that was neat. Usually if uh, you get a critter like that in the middle of a fight, they're not helping you. <laughs> they're fighting you too. And that ox actually helped us. What was that? Yes, I'm coming, Dave. But you really need to heal. My goodness. And she will not slow down. Um, maybe we should... Hold on. <gasps> Items. Yes, I know. We really, really, really want to get dead.
Okay. Saurian scale. <laughs> All right. We have a long journey ahead of us. We ought yeah. to employ an ox cart and save our strength. No, yeah. Dave, come over here. <laughs> this is not my intention. That's quite enough. Huh. Oh, I I get it. I have to sit down. What was that? This ox cart's bound for Mel. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Okay. Here you go. Ox carts are relatively safe means of travel between towns. Their services are available at regular intervals for a fair sum of gold. You need only visit an ox cart station, pay the fare, and climb aboard. The ox will do the rest. How you spend the journey is up to you. You can enjoy the scenery rolling by slowly or doze off and make the road feel much shorter. Ox cart raids and monster attacks are not unheard of, however, so it's always advisable to be prepared for battle just in case. Nope, we're not going to doze. We are not going to doze off. Oh. Now I know how to call them to me if I need to heal them all at once. So, number one is go. Number two is to me. Number three is help. Number four is wait. So that's how you do basic commands. Oh, hello, Dried Vine. And thank you. I'm glad to see it's looking good. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Prepare yourself. These fiends will resurrect so long as their skulls remain intact. But fear not, I shall gladly smash every last one. Okay. All right. Would seem the creature was carrying. <laughs> um, hello? What is that? Justice shall guide our blades and arrows. Uh, not really. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. This tale is ended. Load from last save. <laughs> Whoops. I was not expecting the wolves. I should have. I mean, it is nighttime. Wolves are definitely nighttime critters. <gasps> make sure before you make camp, be sure to eliminate foes. Alright, looks like... Where are we? Hardly so destitute as to shun an ox cart services. What say we ride one to our destination? It is the Arisen's choice to make. Though I certainly wouldn't have run the chance for both of us. And do my eyes espy an ox cart, faithful companion to weary travelers. Okay. What a wonderful coincidence. Right you are. Looks like we don't have to pay it again. Oh, that's interesting. I was expecting to have to pay him another hundred gold, but I guess not. Seems your luck's run out. I'd seen 
stop lateral those with whom we have no quarrel. Yet if they mean us harm, we can but defend ourselves. There's no break shot. Dude, there's that thing again. Extinguish our lantern. Okay. I have to remember which button is the lantern. Okay. That was that went better. You truly are formidable, Arisen. <laughs> Did she just give me a high five? Oh my goodness. We're still in the fight. More fighting? We'll pull through yet. Okay. Healing worse than anyone. Oh, good, zombies. They threw everything in this game, didn't they? A word? Oh shoot, Dave died again. Oh, thank you. He brought me Dave so I could revive her. You. And you're gonna go and get yourself killed automatically again. Yeah, I'm trying, okay? Look at that in just a second, Michael.
this bird definitely has to like the temper. One more bar left. Cowgirl. Oh. No. Get off of me. Thank you, Cowgirl. Or thank you, Coco. Come on, Tauble. Come on, Tauble. When you take a damage, not only is your remaining health reduced, but the maximum health you can recover is reduced also. The loss gauge represents this temporary reduction. It is likely to accumulate if you do not rest between battles. Your maximum health will remain reduced even after the battle is over, and you will be unable to recover it with the use of curative magics or items. The Lost Gauge can only be recovered by resting at an inn or campsite. Keep your party in fine fettle by resting after prolonged battles and consider a tactical retreat if your party's health is worn too low. Ooh. Okay. That did not go so well. I think we definitely need to rest somewhere, but where? Whatever that thing is, unfortunately, I, I think we're going to have to completely battle it again. They're hardly so destitute as to shun an ox cart services. What say we ride one to our destination? Well, riding one to our destination has not gone so well so far. How about we, uh... <clears throat> Where is it? Where is this thing? Modest camping kit? But we can't use it. So... My eyes espy an ox cart. Faithful companion to weary travelers. What a wonderful place. Of course. Shoot. Here. 
think we can get past this. Yeah, we've already had to do this twice. Stay here. I want these guys handle this for a bit. your main palm becomes forfeit, you need only touch a ripstone to return them to your side. You cannot enter covenants with other pawns while your main pawn is forfeit. Ooh. Okay. So we can get our main pawn back. <laughs> he even leveled up even though he's dead. Lizard men are cobalt, gas, cyclops, zombies, harpies, wolves, and you just start it. Yeah. A little everything, Michael. They literally throw in the, the whole kitchen sink at us. wait for uh everybody with me some masters rearrange that party at the drop of a hat one such arisen dismiss me after only half a day of service fascinating pray you trick gold tooth uh, <laughs> there was some goblin stuck under the wheels Wearing armor all day feels like a punishment. Another fight? Come on, guys. Stay with me. We have to get to a rough stone and get Ter Terrible back. Pity Wong. Wart. Okay, it doesn't look like I can heal you any more than that right now. 
already used as a material. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping it's a good material. <laughs> Goblin is still being dragged behind the cart. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, maybe that... I don't know if that's intentional or if that's a glitch, but, um... Would that such tranquility could last? See, that's your side. I could see myself having a kip hereabouts. I could see myself hopefully not dying again. Can we check a light, guys? I've not even bothered to go into the... Come on. I know, Dave. You're hobbling. You're making me feel bad. Good thing I like you. I'm not going to be like your last master and just throw you out after half day. I don't know about you, master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Where are we going to rest, dear? I mean, not really, no place safe here. Oxcarts make for relatively safer travel. <laughs> <laughs> this Oxcart has been nothing resembling safe. Okay. Every time I get on the court, we get attacked by some huge thing. And, and even off the court, we're getting attacked constantly. Oh, again? Dave, again? Most no, definitely not the best time to be standing around. Almost because I decided to follow you somewhere. Where are you going? Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Hey. What way? All right, I think we we want our light back on because I can't see Jack Diddley. <laughs> I think we lost the cart. What do you mean, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Where are you going? What's this all about? Did we lose the cart? I think we did lose the cart. What's a welcome sight? 
A campsite would be a welcome site. We might have need of it. I don't know why we need some jagged bones, dear. I really don't. Ripened apple, apple. Ripened apples are gonna help. Nope, we can't use it. Why cannot we not use it? Okay, wait, wait, where are we? I have no clue. We've traveled away. Oh, we're taking the long way to get back to uh, anything resembling a settlement. Grief. <laughs> Is that the way we want to go? It is. My word. It's this way. It's what way? Some of us are Okay, you're by me. Something I'd noticed about this game, there's not like a whole lot of options for fast travel. Harpies. Where are you going, Coco? We done? Come on. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. A firm push is what's needed here. Oh! Ow! Oh. 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 Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Shoot! No! Nope. I'm gonna die. Where did that look where did that last save? Because oh smack. <laughs> I got smacked so hard. To set a pawn quest visit Riftstone. Yes, I I know about that. I won't be setting any pawn quests anytime soon. Okay, yes, I know already about that. Okay, there you all are. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Okay. Come on. Are they fighting each other or are they fighting someone else? They're fighting someone else. Nope. 
No. Okay. You're fine, Dave. Forgive me for being a burden arisen. You're not a burden. Now, to me. As you wish, I shall return directly. Many thanks for healing me, Arisen. still have a couple of them. Or do we? Yep. serves to convey my appreciation. 1200 gold? Oh, well, <laughs> hi. You can um I don't know about you, you can get me killed a couple oh, of times right. anytime you want. <laughs> I think we should rest. But can we rest? Where are we? Going that way? I don't know what that way is. <gasps> Should we use this thing now? No? We'll give it to Dave. Most sensible, Master. You'll be able to move much more freely with an item. I was kind of hoping she would actually use it. But, no. It's well, we've had quite the adventure. Just to Will this march never end? I don't know. To catch our breath, if we, can spare one. we should spare one if I knew how to spare one, okay? But for now, oh, there's a chest up there. An aged scrag of beast. We have found a material. Oh, I found, yes, I know we have found. Combinations of materials result in different creations. <gasps> is that a campsite or is that just another bad guy? Hold on. Make camp. If the Arisen has a camping kit to hand, they can pitch their tent by the remains of a campfire found at set spots throughout the wilderness. Much like staying at an inn in town, resting in a campsite restores the party's health and stamina and recovers the lost gauge. Adventurers who seldom return to town should be sure to keep a camping kit in their pack, lest exhaustion overwhelm them. Camping also affords the opportunity to grow meat, granting a boost to certain stats upon consumption. The finer the quality of meat, the greater the increase you can expect. Before setting up camp, it would be prudent to eliminate any foes lurking nearby. Neglecting to do so only heightens the chance of an ambush while your party is at its most vulnerable. Yes, we're making camp. Yes, we're using the modest camping kit. Yes, we finally figured out how to do some camping.
rest in the tent. Rest till morning. Hopefully we don't get attacked. But we did get rid of a whole bunch of goblins, so hopefully it's safe Our enough. Adventure continues. Oh, good. Come, that worked. Much to be getting on with. Yay, that worked. I'm actually very pleased with that. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I think that's the city we came from. Probably a good thing we're not in the city right now. I don't think the Queen Regent will be very happy to have us continue having our heads. Um, what's going on over here? Come to think of it, different masters played the different forms. One oh. whom I served preferred to have beast strings for allies. Oh, good. Fascinating. I don't think so. All right, guys, what should we do? I don't think we're, the three of us can face those things. I'm pretty sure we can't. We don't even have Talvoral with us. Let's go back this way, please. Thank you. Let's see if there is another path. Off the bridge. Um, not really. All right, come on, guys. Let's see what we can find this way, because we're not going that way. Maybe we can head back to town. Ouch! Of course. Okay. A small thing. We got several small things. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined minds. Pushes what's needed here. Oh, okay. That's one of the reasons we need Talvoral. Because he's a guy, and he's a fighter, and he can pick up those big boulders where we can't. Hey, realism. I like it. Am I the first? Are you the first what? To notice we've all got different vocations. No, Our you're not the first. I've done that intentionally. Work. We must each of us hone our skills. Hello. The jack of all trades is a master of none. Yep. Oh boy, we get to go back through this. Well, it's during the day, so hopefully we can do that quite safely. <sighs> um. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get what? hit, lest all that vim go to Did waste. they follow us around? I want it to do.
Okay. You are not a burden. You're welcome. For you. With my and what did you give me? 2,500 coin? I've noticed something. None of these uh, monsters have a level on them. I have no clue what level monsters I'm fighting. I don't know if they go by... The level we are. So do they level up with us? Or are they specific levels in specific areas? I have no clue. There's someone else. Come on. Well done, Master. That <laughs> she gave me a fist bump that time. All right, come on, guys. I think we're still heading the right way. Where am I? Right here. Yeah, we're still heading the right way. I mean, I guess I can't complain. We've leveled up enough, quite a bit. Hello? Travel without your loyal pawn. You will need to rectify that should you seek my service. Okay, that's right. We can't hire another pawn without getting ours back first. That's an interesting mechanic. You actually have to have your main pawn on you in order to hire others. Hello, guys. I wouldn't go that way. It's pretty dangerous, although I have cleared most of it for you at this point. Yep, yeah, I'm not going back that way. <laughs> Y'all can deal with that. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I don't care. All this because I tried to follow this girl. I don't even know what she was trying to lead me to. What is this anyway? What have we got in here? Lantern oil and salubrious drought. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. And somebody got us some cinnamon bark. And we might as well grab this sunbloom while we're at it. I don't even know what sunbloom is. Sounds like a pretty flower, though. Okay, can we take a moment just to admire the bridge? Look at look at the the wood. Boy, that's ru a rough and Hewn bridge. Not sure you would get me to climb over that. Was once a kingdom of Truly? 
quite, though no definitive records remain. How are we to get through this door? All right, come on, guys. Now we need to find, I forgot, we need to forgot, find one of those summoning stones that we can summon back. And he's probably going to be mad because I took my good sweet time getting to him. I'm assuming there's one in the city. Alright, so we're in the city. See what we got here. I don't even know if we do have one. Yes. I believe that's it. Right over here. So we are here. We go around. I'll go and open the chest. Emergent vitality, huh? Okay, so where are we now? We're near it. No, I'm interested in this. I am ashamed to have fallen so short. I shall ponder my failings arisen. Oh, shut up, y'all. <laughs> quit, quit, quit that. that that's going to annoy me. I am ashamed I have failed. Who are you? I'd like to talk to you. Go on, have a look. All right, I'm looking. You're not showing me anything, though. A ambivalent rift incense. Powdered rift crystals burnt as incense, only usable by a main pawn at a camp. Its mysterious scent gives the pawn a different inclination and voice to match. Okay, so these actually will change your pawn's inclinations. And I will leave him as straightforward. A special tone that allows the arisen to edit their own appearance or the appearance of a pawn. One use only can be used while visiting a Barbary. And these things cost 500, whatever these coins are called. Rift coins. We've got spectacles. Looks like they're cosmetic. Yeah, they're cosmetic only because they do not change their stats. Uh, huh. Oh, I I just realized we can see the see them over here. Nose pincher monocle. <laughs> Brain glasses. Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you. Um, any conversation? I'm just grateful to still be in business. I can appreciate that. Pleasure doing business with you. No problem. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope no. the shopkeep understands. Browsing oh, I... was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello, Talwirl. All right, guys. Now that we have Talvoral back, we feel a little more complete again. Guess we might as well look around town while we're here. I think we need uh, 
gear. That's what we need. And we also need to get back. How are we going to do that? Oh, the only way to do that was the path we were taking. <laughs> you know. Well, maybe with Talboral, but yeah, we need to get all the way back over here. We can set a waypoint, but there is no fast travel option. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, Arisen. What ladder? Where? Why are we talking about ladders? Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line these shelves. Okay. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price, just remember. Misers die early deaths. Okay. All right, what do you got to offer? Huh? Uh, 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 wizard's hat, huh? <laughs> Devotee's hat. Serpentine circlet. It wasn't 6,300 gold. It does offer a decent amount of of defense. Friar's Hood. All right, so Helms, body armor. Magician's coat. So note, if she can't wear it, it doesn't even show up on her character. If she can wear it, it does. Ah, there's that. That is from the character creator. I really want it, but it's 10,000 gold. Good grief. The Verger's Gown, that's what it's called. Magician's Coat might do. Magician's Coat doesn't have as much defense, but it does have some elemental resists. Let's see what else we got. We got capes. We got leggings and boots, which it looks like we can do that. We can do that. All right, so we're going to start with that. Yes, we want to equip that. Now, chest piece. I guess we're going to go with the magician's coat. I really want that. I will get it eventually, but for the moment, that will have to do. Yes, equip it. Ring of Exaltation and Ring of Accrual. 
slightly boost maximum health, slightly increase maximum amount of weight. But before we do anything else, let's see, what is Talvoral wearing anyway? Oh, I like that. Again, don't really have enough gold for it. Okay. Hold on. Coco. Ranger's vest. That looks nice. Dave. She's actually not in as bad a shape as everyone else. Okay, we got to do something with... Talveral. I guess we're going to go with the plate armor. Yes. Equip it. And... Let's see. Should we go with those? Not going to have much gold left, but... Okay. Thank you. Many thanks. I appreciate the business. I hope so. I just spent a whole ton of gold. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Very good. Small talk? I know where we can find useful materials for enhancing your equipment, Master. I've marked the spot on your map. Oh, thank you. Okay. She's looking dressed, finally. <laughs> That's always good. We're going to have to make some more gold somehow to get the others something. I think we need to find the end, too. Hopefully I still have enough gold left for that. <laughs> because you need to... Need the end for saving. It doesn't. It auto saves on important events and at ends. Are we going the right way? It's over here. Okay. Okay, there's the tavern. Oh, wait. The star drop in. Where? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I mean, I could probably jump over that, but let's not be rude. <gasps> Hello, Kyle Jordan. How you doing? We're just checking out the Dragon Dragon's Dogma 2. Welcome to the Star Drop In. Oh, thank you. Serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Um. Oh, uh, let's just pass the time. Always a pleasure. 
what, Dragon's Dogma 2? It's um, a new game. It's an RPG. Kind of a little bit of a Souls-like. Welcome to the Star Drop-In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Okay, so we can't sleep. What thing? I think she's supposed to be a cat creature. There are cat, almost a uh, Khajiiti looking creatures in this game, as well as humans. And of course, my character is based off my elf character in Lotro. So, she's an elf. <laughs> you know, I would think an inn, I would be able to get a room. Maybe it's just a little screen I'm watching on. Maybe. I mean, I don't know if this game looks that great on a small screen. I, Lotro was fire back in the day. Hey, I still play it. I've been doing that for 15 years now. I'm really liking the fact that they opened up a lot more of the game to free-to-play players. So, when people get a chance to try out more of the game. <laughs> oh, you were a minstrel. Yeah, minstrels are fun. So, were you elf, human, dwarf, or hobbit? I want to sleep. Come on, let me get some rest. Oh, this is a nice view of the courtyard. Ha, ah, man. I had a friend that would, uh, who had a hobbit minstrel. Their little shouts were hilarious and very adorable. Now, for those of us who enjoy taking a good screenshot, this game does have a photo mode, just for the record. So you can go into photo mode. And you can actually rotate around whatever scene you can... go in or out on the view. You have a lot of options. You have blur options. You've got all sorts of blur options. You have brightness, a vigne. You have filters. So we've got an orange filter, blue filter, yellow, a vintage. A vintage filter actually looks good on this one. Sepia, black and white, pastel, or dark. I, I have a ton, a ton of Lotro screenshots. I mean, it's like every time I turn around, I'm taking another one. We have frames and logos. I don't like the, I don't like any of the frames. So I don't tend to use them. I just like to leave it at none. And I don't need anybody's logo on my screenshot, especially not Capcom's. And then we have screen filters, HUD display, and we can turn the grid on and off. And then face bar takes the screenshot. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, I think... Wait, no. Hold on. Now we can take our screenshot. Okay. I think we have... 
Yes, we will exit photo mode. So photo mode's nice. Well, let's talk about Capcom. Because people aren't very happy with them. And last night the game had overwhelmingly negative reviews. So, looking at the Steam page. Currently it is sitting at mixed. 41% of the 16,335 user reviews are positive. Not great. The game itself is so much fun. However, there are a few things people aren't very happy about. Alright, let's talk about that is a big thing that a lot of people are mad about. So we'll look at the DLC content for the game. We have an Explorer's Camping Kit that you can buy for $3. Apparently, that might be one of the things you cannot find in the game. There's a music and sound collection, custom sounds. Now, if you notice, I have all these. No, I did not buy them as the DLC. I actually, I didn't buy the game. Somebody gave this to me as a present. They gave me the deluxe edition. But, yeah. Dragon's Dogma Music and Sound Collection. Three bucks. Harpy Snare Smoke Beacons. Harpy Lore Item. 99 cents. Or apparently you can get them in the game. Heartfelt Pendant. A Thoughtful Gift. Two dollars. Or you can get it in the game. And Bevelent Rift Incense. Change Pawn Inclinations. $1.99. Clearly, we can get that in the game. A makeshift gale key. Escape from the gale. 99 cent. I'm assuming... I don't know about those. But if you were accidentally sent to jail and you did not have 10,000 gold to bribe your way out, you might not have a choice. Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing that. And I know a lot of people argue, but you don't have to buy it. You can get it in the game. That is not the point. The point is that they're selling the stuff in a game with a premium price tag. So I'm not particularly thrilled with that. So that is a big one that people are complaining about. And honestly, I'm not particularly thrilled with cash shops to begin with. So when you have something like that, like I said, in a premium price title, it's not, it's not a good thing. The big thing that a lot of people are mad about, and actually I'm not very happy about myself, is that... How do you make a single-player game without giving players the option to start a new game? So, this character I have right now, this save file, that's it. If I want to start a whole... Yeah, yeah. There is no new game option in the menu. The only way you can do that is a workaround that involves turning off Steam Chat, or not, it's turning off cloud saves, deleting the files completely out of your computer, starting the game again with cloud saves off, creating a new character, starting a new game, and then allowing Steam cloud saves back on, and of course, which it's going to say there is a save mismatch and you say, well, the one on the local file is the right one and overwrite whatever you were trying. Yeah, it is some like, you're right. It is some next level nonsense. I am not going to lie. It is a big thing a lot of people are mad about. Now, 
they did say they are looking at adding a feature to the Steam version of the game that will allow players that are already playing to restart the game. We will announce more details as soon as we can. And I'm like, guys, seriously. This essay should have been in the game to start with. This is not this is not an afterthought. This is a core feature of a single player game. So those mixed reviews they're warranted. The game is great. So far I've had fun with the game. I've had very little problems running it. I've had I mean I've died a few times, but I expected that. That's part of the fun. But that that those DLCs that you have to buy, or you don't have to buy, but the fact that they even added them annoys me. It's that whole you can't start a new game that makes me go, what the actual... Guys, get your head out of your ass and make a proper game. You're already charging us 60, 70, 80 bucks for the game. You don't need to nickel and dime people. And you certainly need to give us the option to start a game over. Especially since that save file is constantly overriding. So if you make a mistake and then the game file saves right after you made that mistake or you got stuck you're screwed I mean does that not make sense so yeah they really they really screwed the pooch and granted I've played a few games that have screwed the pooch before who is the statue you know what I am not certain Yeah, I'm going to have to go into, what I'm going to have to do is find my save files and copy them over somewhere else. So if something happened, I have at least a backup, even if it's a couple hours old, I don't care. At least I can go back to it <laughs> until they do something about this nonsense. That looks... I'm not sure. Because it almost looks like a goblin from here. Welcome. Killing a dragon. Oh, I bet you it's supposed to depict the false arisen. We don't want to die. Did there somebody say something about I don't want to die? To Gotta be ready to give the signal. Nonsense is going on here. Oh, hello, lady. I'm the crown jewel of the performance. Your music's very nice. Can we get a rest now? It's night time. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start off? Okay. You know, this is an inn. I should be able to get a room for the night. Nice balcony. Huh. Oh, sweet Christmas, it's that thing again. <laughs> well, that thing is the tavern keeper, so I have to talk to her. Yeah, that is usually what ends are for, yet I can't find anybody to sell me a room for the night. Nice market stalls. Sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm lost, okay? <gasps> it says it's an N. I mean, Shecker's N. The Stardrop N. 
Oh, we have to go to Shackers. Okay. Let's find Shackers in. Not unless your wares include a bed for the night. They don't. You're the armorer. I just spent way too much gold there, so you're not getting any more of it. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen... Um, I watched somebody play Resident Evil 4. It did look like it was very interesting. But also, like you said, full of microtransactions. Oh, I'm over here now. I need to go the other way. Well met, son. How might I be of service? Okay, that is not a door we can go through. A common quarter. What's this place? That's the place we just came from, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Around here somewhere is an... Uh, wait, is that it? Found it. Oh, hello, sir. I've been looking all over the place for you. What about you seems familiar. What about you seems familiar? Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Um, yeah, kind of. Can we... Oh, no, we can't. We don't have enough to rest. Oh, that's not good. Hold on. What we got in here? A wake stone. And an explorer's camping kit. A superior wooden staff. Wait, I have that? Okay. All right. We might have to use this camping kit, but I think that's only a one-use thing. I'm not sure I want to go and use that. What's this? Heartfelt pen net. Okay. That's uh, actually a, a, a thing to improve your standing with somebody. I do not have anything in here that I would really want to sell either. Yeah, 2,000 gold for a room, which I would have had except I went on a spinning spree and bought armor for myself Watch in my main run. pawn. And now I have only 1,684 left. <laughs> you, very true. Very true. In fact, I've heard it's like 10,000 gold to use the barber. Oh, I'm going to have to really sort out my bags. But, obviously, we don't need to be doing that here on stream. Alright, guys. I found the place, but we're broke. Unless one of you has gold on you. I doubt it. Methinks we've earned a brief repose. Uh, what say you, Arisen? I would like a brief repose. Do you have gold on you? And then we can afford it. Shall we report back now? I'd like to. <laughs> if I knew what we were reporting back to. <laughs> okay. Items, maps, quest, equipment, status. One of you got to have gold on you, right? No, you don't. 
Okay, none of you have any gold on you. That's too bad. Right. Okay, dude. Let me let me into my vault again. Sir, I trust you fared all right on the roads despite the hour. Ha. Right. Wait. This isn't Lost Ark. Let's deposit some junk first. Unless it's worth something. No, it's not, apparently. Select, shift to select multiple. Oh, and apparently... Oh, that apple went rotten already. Okay. If you put raw food in your vault, supposedly... It doesn't go bad. I guess we're going to find out. Looks like we got some rotten food already. A ripened horse bud. Dried spud. Fruit. Robrunt. A medicinal pellet containing bits of fruit. Consume it to recover a great deal of health. Lantern oil. Stoutness extract. A golden trove beetle. A rare beetle that glitters like gold. Consuming it increases the weight one can carry. By 0.15 kilograms. The resin's main pun can also receive the same effect. Interesting stuff you can get. Jagged bones. Small fangs. Golden goblin horns. Harpy pinion. All this stuff says it can be used to enhance equipment. Missive to the captain. A letter addressed to the captain of the Vernworth Guard. Entry to the capital may prove difficult without it. Well, we managed to get in. Put that away. And that away. Well, I mean, I can't say much about subscriptions. I mean, I've played Lotor for 15 years. You know where to find me. Yep, I know where to find you. It has ma- Yeah, it does have magic banjos. <laughs> okay, no. Items. Thank you very much. Superior wooden staff. That's not what I wanted to do. Go ahead and equip that. I guess they all, yeah, they all stayed outside. All right, one more thing. Seems familiar. Yeah, I know. Something about me seems familiar. You keep telling me that. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Okay, one thing I'm not sure I'm really keen on is the fact that You have to go back to go forward to store stuff in your vault and take stuff out of your vault. I 
And those jerks in, uh, what was it, Erdlund something, I remember, spent 5,000 years grinding rep with those jerks so I could get my pony. Was it Erdlund? Thorns Hall? Because I don't think there was a pony in Erdlund. Which the mines are no place for, by the way. Oh, yeah. Nope. No one take a pony down to the mines. Well, I guess if worse comes to worse, I do have. Much obliged. Yep, thank you very much, sir. I do have the pack on us if we have to use it. Okay, I always like it when a game includes sitting. No lie. I accept it mounts not being usable in Moria because of the justification. Well, they did have the goats. The goats. Oh, and I, I'm wondering. The boar might be able to be used in Moria. I'm not certain. Yeah, anytime you have add it sitting to a game, it's always good. I'm trying to think now, did Enshroud it add sitting? I don't think they did. You can sleep, but I don't think you can sit. They need to do that. Well, at least we can all rest here. Even if it is at the entrance to the tavern. Oh! They're all sitting down. No, actually, that makes sense to me. I do like to make sure that I'm sitting down. I'm preferably sitting off in a corner somewhere. So, it's kind of easy to know that, hey, that person's probably not there at the moment. All right. So, I think that, oh, it's late, and I've not even eaten supper. I think we are going to stop off here, and hopefully, where is it? System. Save and continue, or save and return to title screen, so we can save. Now, I was told we couldn't save unless we were at an inn or resting, but I guess we can. I really, really like the photo mode. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> now he looks like he's chastising her. It's uh, almost nine here. So, yeah. And I haven't eaten yet. Let me do this screenshot real quick. Hopefully I got that. <laughs> but, um, photo mode's great. The game's great. The game is fun so far. I am definitely going to continue playing this on streams. I'm thinking Tuesday streams will be Entrouted. And Friday streams will be... Dragon's Dogma 2. We'll see how that works out. I don't think... I'm trying to figure out if I have space in my schedule to put a third day of streaming, but so far, not yet. We'll see. However... Oh, Hell Helldiver, Helldivers or Helldivers 2?
too. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people are playing it. Not my style of game. I would absolutely suck at it. But um, it's been fun to watch. So it does look like it's a fun game and has deserved the praise it's gotten. But freedom, though, yeah. <laughs> there does seem to be some structured freedom in the game. It does look like fun. It kind of reminds me of Starship Troopers a little. Oh, I don't hate freedom at all. In fact, I'm a big proponent of freedom. It's like... I'm free to like a thing, and someone else is free to hate it. But at any rate, I really had better go eat. I want to take a moment to thank everybody for stopping by. Thank you for the conversation. I really enjoyed it. And thank Daramoth on Rumble for the $5 chat. I really appreciate it. And until next time, bye for now.